Listen, I'm a writer. Ask me what I do, and I'm going to tell you that I'm a writer. Ask me who I am, and I'm going to tell you that I'm a writer. I've been a writer since I was three years old pretending to read novels. I've been a writer since I was eight years old and wrote my first book. It's just part of me. It's part of who I am. And listen, I titled the book Boys and Girls Screaming for a reason. Even though it's a fictional story, the themes and the emotions, they're real. Because the way I see it today, the boys and girls are screaming. They're dancing on TikTok and they're streaming video games and they're like, look at me, look at me. And we're not even looking at them. So then when they go harder and they're like, look at me, look at me, we're still not looking at them and we're not seeing them. So what my novel Boys and Girls Screaming does is it says, what would it look like if teenagers took matters into their own hands? Three main characters in my novel, Ever, Candace, and Jericho, they decide to form their own healing group. And they form this group made up only of students from their school. No teachers, no parents, no adults at all. Just teens gathering in a basement in real life. They're not online, they're not on anyone's live, they're in real life. And what this intimacy does, or what they hope to get out of this, is that they'll feel seen, and they'll feel heard, and hopefully the people in that room become enough for them. And that's really what the plot of Boys and Girls Screaming is about. Because we wonder, and we ask, is it enough? Is it enough?